My name is Brian Doty. I'm a product manager in the server management group, and I'm here to talk about Vertex. Um, who here has seen Vertex before? Know a little bit about it? Okay. One thing that uh, a lot of people talk about Vertex, uh, one of the things they don't mention as much is the management capability. Um, there's obviously a lot of power in Vertex. I'll kind of hit on some of the highlights. It's both a desk side solution, a rackable solution. Um, it has up to four nodes, 48 terabytes of storage. And what's one of the greatest innovations is that all this storage here is shareable amongst all these different blades. And it does so in a very simple way. Um, it's way, way simpler than a, a SAN solution or ecological solution might be inside the same box. Uh, fully expandable on the back of the system, you have PCI slots. These PCI slots uh, with the right um, license on the chassis management controller can be assigned to any one of the blades. Uh, or their compute nodes, so I could sign all of the uh, uh, the PCI slots to the compute node one if I want to, or I can sign them and mix them up and assign them to different ones. If you don't have that software license, it's assigned equally amongst the server nodes. Um, but also, one thing that's that's really key to this solution, and that this is designed to operate um, anywhere, a branch office or under a desk for a computer uh, developer who needs you know lots of horsepower. Um, or you know maybe on in a retail site you know having one per store or something or, like that or perhaps in my lab at home that's what I was or yeah. your lab at home <laughs> yes. exactly also in my lab but in all other cases uh, other than your lab at home it's really important for the customer not to have to buy nice a story. plane ticket to get to the system right so when we when I first looked at this I was working on this since the inception and one of the things I thought of was oh, wait a minute this is you know, this isn't just like the iDRAC. The iDRAC, you know, you need remote access capability, but going to the data center, you know, as we've learned, is, is a common thing. This is so critical because if a customer has to go visit the site to go do some kind of management task, they have to fly there and pay for a plane ticket, right? So we put a lot of thought in the chassis management controller to make it completely remotely manageable. Um, this is really convergence at the extreme because you can manage everything inside this box, including even the LCD panel and how it operates. You could turn it off because you maybe not want local personnel touching <laughs> the buttons and doing anything, right? Um, let's go ahead and move on. As I also mentioned, the acoustics, right? Um, did anybody know that the server's on? No, I didn't. It's been on the entire time. That's how quiet this thing is, right? Uh, as I talked a little bit about, we have uh, redundant perk cards in this box that allows you to uh, very, very simply uh, carve up the storage and assign it to different uh, systems, right? And the great thing about it is I don't have to assign the drives necessarily drive by drive. I can create virtual disks and assign those virtual disks to um, each compute node. One of the other features that's, you know, as I mentioned, I kind of harped on this a little bit already, but management, really, really, really critical. Um, this is one of the features, before I go into a live demo of the chassis management controller, um, I wanted to talk about one feature that's enabled remotely. So it's not just about the one-to-one -one interface into that chassis management controller. It's also about the, what we've done with our other tools. This is a, a screenshot of OpenManage Essentials, and uh, one of the, the features called Map View. So if you log into OpenManage Essentials, there's a little tab, and it says Map View on it. You click on it, and I can easily map where all my vertexes are around the world, right? Um, one customer asked us, wait a minute, I don't want to do this one by one. Here's a config file, no problem. Load that config file in. They have maybe a thousand vertexes all around in various retail stores. They can actually map them on this map view and quickly see not only you know if there's an error, but they can click on the little check mark here. If it was you know exclamation point, it means it had a problem. Click on it, and I can launch the chassis management GUI to learn a little bit more about what's going on. Okay, I'm going to take over for a second and show you a little demo of the chassis management controller. So what you're seeing right now, a little difficult to run from this location here, but what you're seeing right now is the um, chassis management controller. I'm going to log into it. So right off the bat, one of the really cool things uh, this thing can do is show you an image of the system so I, I know exactly what I'm looking at as this brings up. Um, and not only is this system going to show you uh, real-time health status, I can actually click on, um, if you don't mind, you can click on one of these. Just click on one of the blades here, or the compute nodes in the picture. 
But anyway, I can actually click anywhere on these nodes and I can learn more about the system. In addition, if I were, say, remote, you know, and maybe this server was in a closet where the ventilation had, had died out and the server was, was running hot and the system would warn me, it would tell me right here on the home page what critical alert I had and how I might resolve it, right? Um, so I can quickly determine how to handle uh, a particular event. Sorry, I'm not sure. Oh, no worries. <laughs> I have extended desktop, so my mouse is hidden probably on the other screen. So yeah, I can easily click on here. It'll tell me okay. anything about that particular compute node. I can see the health of a particular hard drive. One of the other great things is that there's also a quick, uh, a quick panel over here. Boy, it's not the easiest thing to drive here. But I can actually go to the storage settings and map either PCI or storage. Can you, yeah, can you scroll the, the <laughs> because the storage only shows four rows there and five rows there, right? Yes. Oh, okay. So it's very important to know that this is a representative uh, picture of what is going on with the system uh, itself. This, I'm not actually connecting to this, this oh, okay. system here. Uh, plugging it in and getting it connected to it was turned out to be a challenge. So I'm actually looking at a, a vertex that's in, um, I think it's in a different country. I think it's over in India. So this is, you know, I'm actually connecting to something totally remote. But I can also see really quickly how many drives are on, uh, physical disks are online, how many are ready. I can carve up the, the system, look at recent storage events. But again, the key here is that I can do all the management from one single place through the chassis management controller. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have time to do my open management presentation, so, but are there any questions? So before can you, I can you export that data in is that XML? Um, can you drag it off through a, a web interface, a CLI? The configuration file? All of the information you've just shown on here. I'm not sure on the answer on that one. I know you can export a configuration file completely from the chassis, and it's XML, so you could do that, but it's not um, something I think you can get through uh, like a, a REST. Because you, you made the point that you know, the map shows you when there's more than one. Because mm -hmm. you could have a number of them in a number of locations. So the implication is customers could have hundreds of them. Right. And therefore thousands. want to pull them, want to show them on a single inter uh, dashboard or Correct. do other things. So having that data coming out into another dashboard right. would be a useful. Actually, the demo that I want to show next was Open Manage Essentials. Um, if it hasn't logged me out, I can alt tap to it real quick and show you that dashboard. But we've built such a dashboard, but it also works in, in some cases where if a customer wants to, uh, let's see if I can find this, hold on one second. So here is, uh, it's already logged me out, my apologies, let me go back to it. So this is Open Manage Essentials. Um, it's gonna log in again here, I'm using a remote desktop, so bear with me. But when this loads up, you'll see a, uh, an itemized list of all the servers in the environment, not just Vertexes, but any blade or blade chassis, the M1000E, um, the Vertex itself, or you know, rack servers like the R630, and it will show them all on the dashboard. So I can monitor the health, I can receive traps and alert, I can inventory them. So this right now, what you're seeing is all the alerts that have come in, but I can also show, there's map view up there, I can just see all my systems that I've inventoried and look at all their health if I want to, right? So this is that dashboard that you're referring to. So any other questions? Um, let, me, let me see if I can get an answer for you. But That's one right. thing that was really interesting is that when I, when I did the roadshows, um, uh, it was myself and someone else who worked on the server team, uh, we're doing roadshows to understand, is this really a market? Is this what customers really want and what features would they want? And I had a guy who was doing some calculations and I said, well, what are you doing? And he said, uh, I'm calculating how much it, it costs me to bring up IT at a remote site. And he ended up around $135,000 just for the hardware and you know, the services needed to deploy it. And he said, this is huge, right? Because could, I could replace that entire cost with this one, you know, uh, uh, compute, you know, modular compute chassis. So very impressive. So let me, let me get back to you on that. I, I can find it. So. <laughs> All right. So we have a special deal for you. <laughs> special you can take home today. the snow answer. Uh, getting, lot getting it home is another question. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Bring your spouse. Let me go <laughs> ahead and right. click on map view. I'll show you this map view. One of the neat things is about this, I can quickly uh, add, if I wanted to add a vertex chassis to the map, I could say, this is the map view, I could say go to Stonehenge. Not that there would be, maybe there's a server there. I wouldn't be that surprised. But anyway, you know, I, could, I can map a, a server to Stonehenge. I can't believe it came up. There it is. Anyway, um, and there's a, this is not really showing properly here for some reason, but uh, if I wanted to, I could actually show, uh, go to my actions pane here, if it shows up, and I can actually add a vertex right here. 
So I can add a licensed you know, node and make it pop up if I want to at Vertex. So I could say that's where one of my you know, Vertex chassis is located so I know where to go. Does you know, have a camera things. and everything? <laughs> <laughs> there have been discussions, I'm but I... It was one of those features like, Why oh, not, it'd be right? cool if we could do this, but nah, probably not realistic. Like Google Maps, you know, a little yeah. 360 view. But it's funny you bring that up because I know a lot of our customers will use, will dedicate like a, a blade to security systems for a particular, you know, branch office. So it actually runs the software, the proprietary software to do, you know, uh, the security system of that particular location. Or monitor who's messing with it. Yes. Yeah. Who disconnected it. Yeah. And of course we have logs. So both the chassis management controller and the iDRAC have logs, you know, for forensic purposes. So you could look at who logged in last and what, you know, they might have done something to, to mess up the system.